Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 1st, 2020. My name is Russ, and I get to inform you of all the interesting stuff that is going on in the world today with our politicians. <clears throat> to start off with, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said this morning that the Republicans, sorry, the Senate will be voting on the Republican version of the, of the stimulus package next week. And that's only because the Senate is at recess until the 7th of next week, which will be Labor Day. Trump, Trump's executive order for payroll tax cut goes into effect today. And remember, if you actually participate in this payroll tax cut, well, should I say payroll tax deferral, because that's what it really is, that you will actually have to pay it back before August, sorry, April 30th, 2021 and Joe Biden's lead over President Trump is shrunk to a 2% lead a month ago it was 9% two weeks ago it was 4% and now it is currently at 2% and the FDA commissioner said that he would resign if he feels pressure to approve a vaccine prematurely and let's hear the Senate lead Mitch McConnell, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, and Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, they're working on the details of the Republican stimulus package that will be voted on next week when the Senate comes back from their recess. They said that they are crafting the package to be, cons be considered acceptable by the, rep the representatives controlled by the Democrats. No, there's no... They're making this stimulus package to be more acceptable for the Democrats and the House Representatives. Let's see if that actually works or not. Because they'd actually have to include stimulus checks, extend unemployment, hazard pay for the essential workers, scrap all that liability protection crap because that's just useless. If they did all that, they could probably squeeze in all that stuff for... 1.5 to 1.9 trillion dollars but we shall see um, Senator Burroughs said that they're having a conference call every morning in fact they had a conference call this morning the Nancy Pelosi uh, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and the other two that I mentioned earlier they're all having a conference call every morning to talk about and tighten up the stimulus package Mark Meadows said that there has been real progress between the Republicans and the Democrats oh that's good that means that there's the Republicans and the Democrats are seeing a bit closer eye to eye so hopefully soon money can start getting out to the people so we can actually start putting food in our face put food in our stomachs so we can survive and keep moving over houses overhead which is a good thing and on trump's executive order for payroll tax cut it's actually more like a payroll tax deferral because for it to be a payroll tax cut it would actually have to pass through congress the payroll taxes refer to the social security and medicare taxes that are withheld from your paycheck every time you get paid which equals 7.65 percent now, if you break that down to simpler terms, that means for every $100 you, you earn, $7.65 goes out to the Social Security and Medicare taxes. Which is, you know, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, that's basically, isn't that like what uh, sales tax is? Seven point, nothing, sales tax is like 7.25%. So <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry if you keep seeing my turn my page, but like I said, I do like to take notes so I can actually give you guys more accurate information because that's very important. And like I said that payroll tax deferral goes into effect today, and it will be up to your company to participate in this program. And it would only apply f to you if you earn under one hundred and four thousand dollars a year. And like I said, do remember on this payroll tax deferral, if your company does participate in it and you start taking part of this participation, that 7.65% that's 
taken out for your Social Security and Medicare taxes, you do have to pay back before April 30th of 2021. The politicians have expressed that they are against this payroll tax deferral, completely against it. In fact, uh, they even talked to the IRS to see if they could actually make this payroll tax deferral more of a payroll tax cut, and the IRS said, we cannot do that without it passing through Congress first. So it's basically right now considered as like an interest-free loan until you have to pay it off, which will be next starting next year. Unless, of course, you vote Donald Trump back into office, and in which case, if that happens, he might decide to try to make it a permanent thing, only if it can pass through Congress. And I hope Congress does not pass something stupid like that, because that will really hurt everyone on this planet. Okay, let me rephrase it. That will hurt every American inside the USA. <laughs> so sorry about that one. And on his other executive order for the, the um, eviction protection for tenants, it does not protect renters from eviction. So basically, uh, his executive order for eviction protection, if you're a renter, it does not protect you. But some states have actually been taken it into their own hands to try to solve this problem so you guys can have your houses still. In fact, California has passed its own form of state legislation preventing their residents from being evicted, well, their, their tenants slash renters from being evicted from where they're at until February 1st of 2021. Can I just say congratulations to the governor of California who actually puts his citizens before the needs of himself. I got to give him a good round of applause for that, applause for that one. And on the COVID-19 news, uh, we, there are, we have three vaccines in phase three trials in the USA. There is concern that uh, they are cutting corners by sacrificing safety and trust in the FDA for a speed to market progress. Basically, what, what that means is, is that they... They feel that the people who are trying to make these vaccines are trying to be faster to get it out to the market and not worry, more worried about the concerns of the people that might be taking this vaccine. In fact, let's see here, what was his name? The commissioner of the, F, of the FDA basically said that for this reason, well, that's right, Commissioner Stephen, Stephen Hahn said that for this reason, he would be considered resigning because... They, he says everyone needs to have their safety and their trust in the FDA to know that everything that's going to come out of them is going to be safe for human consumption. And that includes vaccines if we have to take shots for it, well, that, especially for the vaccine for that COVID. And he doesn't want them to be cutting corners for safety to try to get to speed to market because, what was it, I, I read somewhere that... Uh, the fastest vaccine we ever came up with took four years, and that was for the mumps. So basically, as you can see, they have three vaccines ready in phase three trials that speed to market. They're trying to get it out to the market, even if it sacrifices safety for the humans, for basically us, for taking it. Because in other words, they'll get out to speed to market, just like, just like Russia did with Sputnik V. And there could be some very adverse side effects that could really hurt us. So Stefan Hahn does not want this to happen. He wants this vaccine to have very little to no side effects for the people that gets injected with it. So we could actually live happier and healthier. And so he, can keep, so he doesn't have to resign his job as well. But until next time, like I said, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. As of September 1st, 2020. And I hope you guys all have a magnificent day out there. Or at least try to have a magnificent day out there and an excellent night. Try to put some food in your stomachs if you're able to. Always remember to wear masks and practice social distancing for those, <clears throat> for those people out there that have compromised immune systems and the senior citizens. Thank you again and have a wonderful night. Bye.